how many deals would you work on and how, you know how would you invest you know how much time would you invest if you were not to quit your w2 job i mean now i know at some point you want to become a financial freedom you want to gain a financial freedom but normally how much time would you spend um, you know I, in my mind not more than a couple of hours or maybe maybe a couple of days to evaluate a deal and then uh, yeah just just i mean i don't want to give the answer you tell me what mm-hmm. what you would do it yeah so if it's in a market that we, okay so if it's in the market that we've never seen before it's going to take us a little bit longer to evaluate the deal so i would say within like you know one to two days if we just sit down and really look at it and evaluate the market itself and then the um the metrics within the you know the different uh economics surrounding that market itself and if we trust and believe that market then we'll look at the deal itself and see if it's feasible and if it's realistic and that could take any, you know, a couple of hours to deep dive into the sponsors, um, assumptions and how the numbers are coming from, um, me, I'm, I'm, I, I work with Excel quite often. And so I like to look at how the numbers, um, one number impacts the other number and how they are able to get to those projections. So it would take me a little bit longer to kind of understand what all the different moving pieces are, um, within those underwriting, underwriting models. So I would say, yeah, um, one to two days could take me um, if I'm like really looking at the deal and just deep diving into it. And, and after that, how much time would you spend uh, once you have it made, made up your mind that you're going to invest your hard and $50,000 or whatever it is into the deal? Uh, how much more time do you invest uh, or put in, in the deal? What is the requirement? Not you putting in, what is the requirement of your time? So after we decide to invest in a deal, what what happened is then, you know, we need to go spend some time to wire the funds into it, um, read the PPMs and all the contract and all the legal verbiage and make sure that it's in line and that we agree with all those terms and conditions. So that will take a little bit time as well. And then from there afterwards, you would just sign all the paperwork and then you just wait for it to close. And from our point, all we need to do after that is just wait and get what we call mailbox money every single month or quarter, depending on the distribution timeline. Um, and so that's the fantastic part of it because I don't have to do anything. I just wait for the monthly or quarterly communication to understand what's going on with the property, but I don't have to do anything. I it's, The operator is going to be working on it, um, but I'm just managing it and monitoring whether or not they are working towards that business plan and are they continuing to meet those business plans?